know, that's yeah. <laughs> nice. So that was my thinking. Well, it's pretty cool waking up uh, this morning, going over our emails, but we do constantly looking out for signing from around the world. And boom, we're here within, you know, 12 hours of the signing on location while they're on their way to check out the volcano. Chris, appreciate it, John. It takes a lot for sharing your uh, incredible signing with us. We're going to make a video. You get something out of the video. If not, you know, we try. So, uh, you said you've seen UFOs before over uh, for quite a while, right? Yeah, my, my first memory of, of ever having a sighting was as a real little kid. Like, I couldn't have been more than 10 years old. And I was in Indiana, and my mom and I were sitting on the front porch. It was the evening, it was summer. And sort of see how those trees are. And there's the, uh, the, the power lines over them. Like that, above those trees with the power lines where we saw a UFO and it just stopped and we go this way and it stopped and it goes this way and it just stopped. And I remember mom calling the police, reporting it, because we just didn't know what to do. And that was the first time I've seen them kind of all throughout my life. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, you know, with an experience like that, it's always a good idea to keep your eyes on the sky. You know, if anybody out there has captured anything in regards to the UFO phenomenon, contact Thursday with the entire state but we're we are standing by. That was uh, Chris and John on location right there, Rafael Hoyroy, going over their encounters. It's pretty cool meeting up with people in real time like that to uh, report sightings. We're going to go to Anonymous. We've been getting emails from Anonymous saying he's been being attacked by aliens. His family under attack right now. He asked me that he didn't. Go to the extent of removing some of his uh, appearances right here on Third Phase Moon that's in the past, off, off air, offline, don't, don't share it with anybody anymore. Uh, well, with Third Phase Moon, if he's going to come on and talk, well, it's going to be posted to the world. We really can't reverse that. But we are inviting Anonymous right here at Third Phase Moon to maybe he's got something that he can fix what's going on with him and his family. Anonymous, you there? Yeah. Back on. Yeah, the reason I've been contacting you is that uh, my family and I, uh, we have all been threatened and uh, we're all under attack by these ETs who are there to be
come after or before a meteor or asteroid strike or some kind of cataclysm, they will look very human. My advice to people listening to this, do not give in to any kind of new age religions or philosophies that they will attempt to manipulate people with. Uh, they are more evil than any of the religions that they will claim are evil. And they will attempt to manipulate people and I advise people to pray to uh, Jesus Christ. And I advise people to keep their guard up as high as possible because it will be an attempt at mass manipulation. Some of these human-looking ETs will be extremely violent. Uh, others, like I say, will attempt to gain favor with gifts. Uh, don't, buy, don't go for it. They are seem to manipulate people. These gray human hybrids are here for the purposes of infiltration, uh, manipulation, takeover, and destruction. That is how those gray aliens operate. Uh, they've exterminated other planets, other civilizations. And uh, what I'm telling you right now will be verified if and when these human-looking uh, ETs appear before or after major uh, cataclysms. And they are attempting to kill me and my family. And I'll repeat, there are human-looking hybrids uh, living on the planet right now. Uh, there's more than a thousand of them. And I'll also repeat that any of these ETs, whether they claim to be Procyon or Andromedans or any of this other BS, they are all demonic. Okay, uh, here we go again, the demonic thing. Anonymous, you come across as anonymous and you're saying you're being under attack. You've been on the show, I don't know, probably more than three dozen times at least. But you've never shown me any evidence. Oh, well, I've only been on maybe three times. Um, but in terms of evidence, what I'm telling to you right now will be uh, if and when this, these cataclysms occur and these human-looking ETs show up, what I'm telling you now I would think would be ver uh, uh, verified, uh, you know, in hindsight. And I'll tell you right now, these hybrids, the way they, these human-looking hybrids fight, physically fight, they're extremely agile, but they're extremely cowardly. They will not, yet, but for the most part, engage in a physical hand-to-hand -hand fight, but they will run. They're extremely agile. They're extremely telepathic. Uh, some of them will have some kind of uh, technology, like a wand-like device that will cause extreme